Hi everybody! Okay, so I get a question quite a bit about how I style my fringe. Apparently a lot of people have um, issues styling their fringe, um, so I decided to make a little video showing how I style it and also how I trim my fringe um, with a couple of tips and tricks and things like that. Um, I also have pictures on my blog of my actual haircut. I'm going to add updated um, photos probably uh, on Thursday or Friday. Um, just to show like my color change because I recently dyed my fringe black and then I also have black ombre in the back. Um, so I will link below to uh, my actual haircut, the way it looks underneath everything. And then also um, my dread FAQ because I'm not really going to talk about my synthetic dreads uh, in this video. This is more just kind of like for my hair maintenance, um, just like how my hair is now. But I'll link to the Dread um, FAQ um, that I wrote this summer. Then just kind of talks about how I wash my hair and blah blah blah, things like that. Like trying to answer some common questions that people have for me um, when I have my dreads. Anyway, so let's get started on how to um, style my fringe. And <laughs> sorry for all the talking because there's lots of talking in this video. It's basically all I do in this video besides kind of demonstrating how I style it. Anyways. I know I'm talking some more, so <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoy. So my hair has dried a little bit, so I'm going to just dampen it again. My suggestion is for those of you with a cowlick, um, as soon as you get out of the shower, when you put the towel on your head, um, comb your bangs forward right away, and then put a towel on top of it to help smooth it out. Okay, so I'm just going to comb it, brush it forward. Now I'm taking a Denman brush. You can also take a um, little round brush like this. Um, I used to use this one, however, I switched to a Denman brush. Um, or you can use a vented brush or something. I wouldn't suggest using a comb though because a comb can leave um, like little dents or kind of weird frizzy areas and stuff. Um, but yeah, so a brush. And then I'm going to take my hair dryer and this one is the um, Babyliss Pro Carrera 2. And um, you can use a concentrator if you want. I'm not going to use one right now. I usually do, but it's too much trouble. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow dry my hair this way. And then blow dry my hair that way until the roots are dry. And then I'm going to brush it forward and blow dry it downwards. And this helps um, with cowlicks and it also helps with the kind of sitting the hair flat so it's not all puffy. So because I only wash my hair two times a week, um, sometimes if you sleep on um, hair that hasn't been straightened or, or curled or anything, um, sometimes it kind of gets bent and all weird and stuff. So I straighten it. Um, I don't always, but I like, you know, when I do, when I'm not lazy and stuff, then I will. Because like right now it's pretty much good to go, but... So what I do is I take a section and make sure your hair is really dry. So I take the bottom section like this, and then I just kind of comb it through. And then I cur I like take it and I kind of curl it down on the angle that I want it to go at. So I'm not going to pull it all forward and down, otherwise the, the curl is going to be all wonky. So this one I can actually just pull forward like that. This one is going to be on angle like that. short. Um, the straightening iron that I'm using is the Epic Professional Series, Epic One I believe. I think the brand is One. 
I don't know. I found it at a beauty supply store. So, just like that. And then I take down the top layer. And I do the same thing. So. Try not to take big sections either. Just take kind of like, you know, maximum one inch wide sections so that you're not messing up the, the uh, curl at the end. Otherwise it's going to lay sideways, I think. So now I'm going to trim my fringe. Um, once I dry it and style it to the way I want it, um, then that's when I go in and trim it. So I just take the bottom half again. And this time when I clip it up, I just kind of... Um, so I clip it up like that. And then, because my fringe is really thick, or it's a heavy fringe, um, it's easier to do it by layer. I'm going to take my scissors. Um, these ones I just got at Sally Beauty Supply. These aren't my school scissors or anything like that. And then I just go in and start running my comb or my um, scissors along my forehead. And I do this probably about every two weeks. Sometimes if you're not sure whether it's um, like even on both sides and stuff, you can actually just like go and take a selfie in a mirror with your cell phone and um, it'll give you a nice kind of like stand back kind of look or a uh, view, sorry. Take the second layer down, comb it to how it's gonna sit. And then go in with your scissors and do the exact same thing. I don't have to cut off too much right now. And sometimes you have to kind of go back and forth with your comb, like so. Kind of comb it the way it's going to be and then comb it back the forward and then comb it just to make sure that you don't have like all of a sudden this long hair if it's like not in place. And then I just kind of comb it into place on how I want it. Sometimes you kind of have um, like little spots that are kind of down and everything. I just kind of take my comb and just kind of push them up. And usually that gives it kind of more of a, I don't know, it helps straighten out the line. And then I take my hairspray. I'm going to be using Frizzy's uh, Moisture Barrier from Holt Spray. I just really like the smell of this. It's, it's got a smell that I don't get really sick of. Usually I get really sick of the smells of hairspray. And then hairspray the crap out of your hair. And that is basically how I style my fringe. Um, and then I go and I add, I don't know, like hair accessory or something once that's dried, like so. And there we go. And so I'll talk a little bit about um, my hair care routine. Um, the color that I have in my hair is actually like a permanent black. Uh, that's an Aveda black. And then I have um, special effects deep purple in my hair. Now, 
Um, this is extensions, and so this is um, Deep Purple in my extensions, and um, I believe this is Van Manic Panic Vampire Red. I put the extensions in my hair exactly the way I showed in my how to do a ponytail with extensions video that I did a couple months ago. And then I have a donut in this bun here. So yeah, it's pretty easy. I mean, there are lots of tutorials on YouTube for how to use one of those um, donuts there. Did I call it a bun? A donut for a bun. So I wash my hair twice a week um, and this color bleeds a ton. It's a very, very pigmented, deep color. So uh, it washes out for like weeks. <laughs> And it gets over everything. What I suggest, I mean, I have like burgundy pillowcases. Um, I have like, you know, towels over, you know, my bed sheet where my head goes kind of thing. So it's gonna stain things if it rubs against something. So you just have to be aware of that. I wash my hair in kind of cool water. I use Aveda Color Conserve shampoo and conditioner. I guess they have like a, I believe it's a lower pH or something. It's more of a neutral pH so that it doesn't really open up your cuticles too much. And the conditioner is designed to really close the cuticle, so that, that's how that's supposed to help. So before I dry my hair, I add in John Frieda Frizz Ease Extra Strength Formula Hair Serum. And then this protects my hair from the heat and it also smooths it out nicely and keeps it shiny. And then I use the um, Leah Giorno poof volumizing spray and I basically just kind of like part my hair like while it's still wet and spray the roots and this works amazingly like it doesn't leave the hair sticky but it gives it like lots of volume and then the volume holds for days like because I only wash my hair like twice a week so I want something that's gonna last but that really works well. Once my hair is dry I dry it with a round brush so I just kind of go around and like dry the bottom and then up. And uh, once it's dry, I use the Kerastase Resistance Fiber Architect, and this helps um, with like damage and everything like that. And then it protects my hair from my straightening iron. Because I go over with the straightening iron on like some sections, not everything, but if I see something that looks a little bit frizzy, because usually a round brush will take care of the frizziness, um, like a ceramic one or a titan or titanium or whatever they decide, tourmaline one or something. Usually that will work, but sometimes there's like a little pieces here or there and stuff, so I'll go out and smooth the ends or something. Um, yeah, and that's basically all I do with my hair. Some people ask about how I protect my hair from um, getting really damaged because I bleach out my hair, because under here I have to bleach it out to a, um, a yellow, a light yellow kind of color. So the lighter yellow you make it, the more vibrant the color is going to be on top of it. Um, if my hair, I don't know, let's say, like if my hair was probably, if I bleach it out to a, I don't know, a yellow orange or something, um, it wouldn't, like when it fades, it wouldn't be as vibrant. It would become kind of a dull color. So that's why I um, bleached out quite lightly. I've only bleached my hair once. So before it was this color, it was actually natural. So that's one of the reasons why my hair is so, um, I guess, healthy, is because I've only bleached it once. Uh, the more you bleach it, the more often, or if you bleach it out from black, because black is basically a permanent color. So once you go black, um, you never go back. <laughs> um, basically, once you go black, you you shouldn't try like lifting it again because um, it can really damage the hair. You can, I mean, it's doable. If you, if you want to do it, then you can do it and stuff, but it's not really a suggested thing. Like now I have my fringe black and then I have the ends, I have ombre, black ombre underneath um, this and stuff. I'll show it uh, in my next video. Another thing that I use occasionally, probably once every two months or so, is um, Afogee's two-step hair treatment. And that's from Sally Beauty Supply. And it, it's actually really good. Like you just put it on your, the first step, you put it on your hair and then you dry it with a hair dryer, but you don't want to like blow dry. You, I use a diffuser and stuff so that it doesn't move the hair around too much. And it becomes really hard, like plastic. And once it becomes like that, then you can rinse it out and then you put the special, the second step, the conditioner on your hair. And um, 
afterwards you can just style it and everything kind of smells funny but um, your hair becomes so soft, so soft. Um, you know, like at times, when, I know that if you bleach your hair out too much and stuff, your hair feels really crunchy if you rub it in your fingers. Um, that actually makes it feel so smooth. It like fills the um, cuticles with keratin. Um, but yeah, that was kind of like a, a lifesaver. And it also, it feels nice in the hair and stuff um, for it to last for a while. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I can't really think of anything else to talk about. Um, Besides, this is how I do my fringe. This is how I trim my fringe. These are the products I use for my hair. I hope you guys found this useful. I felt like I was babbling on a bit. Um, but um, have a good day. Um, yeah. So close your ears. Plug your ears. Close your ears. Okay, so my fringe has dried a little bit, so I'm just going to re-wet it. And, oh my god, that was alcohol. <laughs> Talk about drying out your hair. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, that was kind of shitty. Oh. <sighs>